Shalom. Good evening and welcome to our Faith Bible Studies. And uh, we thank God we are able to resume our Faith Bible Studies, Faith, faith Studies for this year, 2023. And uh, we have an audience from our Evangel Pray Intercessors. Good evening and God bless. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. Uh, for your word to go forth so that uh, your people shall be established in your kingdom uh, to be fruitful and to be also effective and action-packed so that be able to perform uh, what you have said to move mountains with our words and help us this evening. Bless us with the word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, tonight, topic for faith studies is faith to please God. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he that comes to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Now, this scripture verse will explain to us or tell us why are we studying about faith and why we need to learn how to improve and increase our faith. Because without faith, it is impossible to please Him. Amen. I repeat, eh? without faith, it is impossible to please God. Now, I'll show you from the scripture verses uh, next that uh, the faith is important in our lives because uh, without the faith, uh, we will have uh, problems uh, uh, that we would face and we don't know how to solve those problems in life. And in life, we are always faced with challenges, mountains, uh, you know, and uh, along the journey of our walk upon this earth, uh, we need to resolve matters, we need to overcome them. And uh, God is there with us, but God has placed within us a powerful strength and a will, and also a skill to pray, so that with our prayer life, we're able to move those mountains and solve those problems. Now, in this next slide, Faith is your spiritual journey with God. It reflects your spiritual health. Spiritual health means it is your relationship, it is your joy, it's your peace, it's your walk with the Lord, uh, you know, how fervent you are in the church, how fervent you are in your prayer life, that's your spiritual health. Number two, it manifests the quality of your life. The quality of your life is your wealth and your well-being. And the more you uh, increase your faith is, the more you will achieve, the more you'll begin to overcome, the more you'll begin to, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, face the battles. And, and I believe that you'll become a stronger person. At the same time, uh, you'll be a richer person. Uh, if you see in the Old Testament, whether it's Abraham, whether it's Moses, whether it's Joshua, all of them are very powerful people. And they were, they were leading the, the nation of Israel as well as also they were fruitful and they were uh, you know, enlarged, uh, they were developed, and they were people of wealth. Uh, they were not poor, they were reflecting the glory of God. So it reflects the quality of life, it manifests the quality of your life. Number three, it is a witness of your relationship with Jesus. Jesus. How close you are with Jesus, and how you please the Lord Jesus, because our Lord Jesus wants to see faith in us, and many times to the disciples he has spoken, and he had actually uh, criticized about their faith, O ye of little faith. And he said that, you know, you need to increase your faith. You need to uh, do something with your faith. And without that faith, you find that fear will overcome. And so it is important to understand that your faith will reflect the relationship with, you have with Jesus. Number four, it shows your prayer life. So the more stronger your prayer life, it means the more stronger your faith is or equivalent of your faith. Number five, it is the strength of your willpower. So if you say, I can do all things through, all, through Christ Jesus, that I am able to do it, and you press on and you achieve it, that's your willpower that is strengthened by the faith inside of you. The amount of faith that you have will begin to now energize your willpower that you will do it, whatever it takes. In the next slide, Matthew chapter 18, verse 25, 26. The disciples came to him and awoke him and said, Lord, save us, we perish. In verse 26, 
He said unto them, Why are you fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, that, and there was a great calm. Here you find in verse 25, the disciples were faced with a challenge, which was there was a storm. They were in the, uh, the boat in the storm. And in the storm, they uh, tried to awaken Jesus, saying that we will die, we will die. Come on, help us, help us, we will die. Now, that is the kind of uh, challenges we face in life, in, in life, whether you are working, whether you are in the home, whether uh, in a journey somewhere, whatever challenge that you're facing, uh, you find that fear will take, overtake you because you don't know how to manage the problem that you are facing. And so the disciples who don't know how to manage the problem they were facing, they were fearful. And Jesus said to them, O ye of little faith. He described that as O ye of little faith. Now from this you understand uh, it is important, how important for us to focus our attention on the faith building in our life more than anything else. Are you following me? You find that it is the faith building that is going to bring the rice, the plate of rice to your home. It is a faith life. It is a strength of faith in you that is going to, you're going to bless somebody else. Otherwise, you find yourself living in faith, drowned by faith, and faith overtaking your life. I mean, sorry, fear overtaking your life, drowned by fear, and fear will take over your life, and you are going to struggle with fear for the rest of your life because you don't know how to manage with faith and how to use that faith to overcome those fears in your life. In the next slide, uh, Matthew 17, verse 20, Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall be removed, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. This is a, an occasion where the disciples could not chase away the demons. They will not be able to overcome the demons. They don't know how to handle the demonic uh, you know, activity on, on a person in this passage. And so Jesus told them, that, you who are, have unbelief, so lack of faith, no faith or low faith is considered as unbelief. You don't believe God. Because faith says in Hebrews 11, faith is when you believe God. Faith is when you believe God. It will please God when you have faith. And it is because with the faith, then you can overcome any kind of demonic power in your life. So you find that the faith is a solution to your problems in your life. And next one in Matthew 14, verse 29, 30 and 31. And he said, come unto me and come. And Peter was walking down out of the sheep and he walked on the water and, and he walked up to Jesus. And when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid beginning to sing. He cried saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said, O thou of little faith, wherefore did thou doubt? Here again, Jesus tells Peter this, Peter, you had faith looking at me, but when you look at that water, your faith dropped. You of little faith, again he describes. It means this, the faith factor in your life is the one that helps you to do things that are impossible. Finally, the last one, Matthew, I mean, John chapter 15, verse 7 and 8. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. The only way to increase your faith in your life, if you abide in Jesus and the words of Jesus abide in you and you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. Hallelujah. Amen. So there goes our answer. Our answer to our faith is, the more closer you are with Jesus, the more stronger you are with Him, the more powerful your faith. Amen. God bless you. I hope you're blessed.